about to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Hello and welcome to another food shopping haul This is a big haul I've been to Tesco and I haven't been properly weekly shopping for a little while We went away for a couple of nights for our anniversary We've had half term and I was out of absolutely everything So I've got a mammoth Tesco haul for you So what I'll do is I'll take you through everything And then I will let you know how much it came to And our meal plan at the end I'll also leave the meal plan written in the description box Because somebody asked if I could do that Sorry if you can hear a noise, it's Hobbs with his bone in the background as usual. Um, I just wanted to say I'm not sure how much we will be uploading next week. We've got a few things going on. We've got Steve's granddad's funeral. Um, I'm going for a scan to see if we can find out what's wrong with me. And Hobbs is also going to the vet to have, him, have himself to be castrated, which is a more in-depth procedure than it was going to be because apparently he's got an undescended testicle which means that they've actually got to go up into his abdomen rather than just going from the outside um not sure about that but his recovery time might be longer he might have to stay in more but the vet said it's important to take it out because otherwise it can turn into a tumor um my scan is for what the doctor was 99.9% .9 sure was my gallbladder but i've had a few attacks since i feel like i'm in labour or giving birth it's absolutely horrific so i've got a scan book to try and see if that's what that is and like i said we've got granddad's funeral as well and that's going to take a little bit of time to deal with and process and the boys need us a lot so not sure how much we'll be uploading next week but if you do like this kind of video make sure to click subscribe there is a whole playlist of them down below and make sure to give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of them now let's go and have a look at this mammoth food haul start off with fruit and veg i got some carrots some fresh coriander for some loaded fries i'm making i got one cucumber some red chilies that's for a salsa i got two lots of the baby plum tomatoes another cucumber i got some ripen at home bananas one pack of mushrooms two lots of these rose dean farm pears you get one two three four they're like six in each and they're 39p at the moment or something ridiculous and they're actually really nice i got some ripen at home avocados again for a chili lime salsa that i'm making some spring onions some sweet gem lettuce I got some green grapes for lunches. I got an iceberg lettuce as well because we're going to be having salad this week. I got one bag of jacket potatoes and one bag of white potatoes. I've got quite a lot of potato dishes, obviously. We're going to be having jackets. I'm going to be making a chicken and potato curry and the loaded chicken barbecue fries. I bought two fresh red peppers, one to go with jacket potatoes, one to go with the salsa, one fresh lime. Two packs of these jazz apples, you get six in each and they're doing two for two fifty. And I think that's everything fresh. I got one pack of frozen broccoli because like I said we've got nothing in our freezers hardly. I got a pack of sliced mixed peppers, these are always really handy just to chuck in like enchiladas or something. So I've got some peas and some bacon for a pea and bacon risotto. I actually made it the other day and filmed it for a cook with me so that will be going up soon but it was a really really successful dinner if you know what I mean the boys absolutely loved it and we all really enjoyed it so I'm going to make that again this week I've got some little savoury eggs just for lunches a big block of Pilgrim's Choice cheese this was 550 grams and it was £3 sorry about the shadow it's just really dark and rainy today and my kitchen light is not brilliant over here I got some different meats because we're doing homemade subs tonight so I got wafer thin roast chicken two lots of pepperoni slices so I got two lots of sliced cheeses to go on the subs as well and also some more meat over here just some wafer thin ham and some pork luncheon meat and that'll all go the boys can layer that up and they love making their own halloumi because I love halloumi and we always buy it some reduced fat coleslaw for sandwiches and Tesco are doing their offer again where you get 12 Muller corners for three pound which works out really good value so I ordered 12 of this strawberry shortcake because they are our favourites. Four pints of semi-skimmed milk and nine toilet rolls over the back there. I got some straight cut oven chips. These are really cheap. I think they're one and a half kilos and they're 92p and they're actually really nice. I mean, I'm not that keen on oven chips, but 
as far as oven chips go, I quite like those. Got some breaded onion rings, two lots of the hearty food co-fish fingers. These are less than a pound for 10 and they're really nice in sandwiches. A little bit of tartar sauce and some lettuce. So I got two of those. One lot of chicken thigh fillets. I have got chicken breast and chicken thigh in the freezer. I've also got a pack of mints, so meat-wise I wasn't too bad. It was just sort of accompaniments I didn't have, but I didn't have enough chicken thighs for what I'm making. I also bought some more yogurts because um, these are a pound for four at the moment and these are also really, really nice. So I got two of those, so we're nice and stocked up. They've got a long date on them anyway. They're the 23rd of March and the shortcake ones are the 22nd. So we've got quite a while to eat those. We've got a pack of Butcher's Choice sausages. These are just handy for like sandwiches for breakfast and things like that on the weekends. Some hash browns. Lady especially loves hash browns. These are the sub rolls if anyone is interested. I always get questions, what rolls do we use to make our homemade subs? And it's just the semolina dusted Tesco sub rolls. You get four for a pound and they taste just like the Subway ones. What we do is cut them open, put all of our toppings on and then I just put them in the oven and pop the grill on so that they just go nice and crispy on top. And they're just really nice and the boys really enjoy making them and it saves money. Got some more cinnamon, curiously cinnamon. They are two pound for a big box at the moment. We did try the Aldi ones and while they're okay, they're not as good as these. They're not as cinnamony as someone said. I don't know if that's a word, but these ones are more cinnamon tasting than the ones in Aldi. So when they're on offer, I will get those. So some essentials that we have run out of as well. I got a big comfort in tents. This is 85 washes and it was three pound 50 instead of seven pound. I got a Surf, I actually picked up two Surf Coconut Bliss Liquid Detergent. These are on offer at £2.50 at the moment and it's such a nice smell. You know me, I love coconut, so I got two of those while they're on offer. Table salt, just because I've run out for cooking like pasta and things. Two squashes, this is the double strength, no added sugar, cherries and berries and the other one is a tropical. They were doing two Radox detoxed, ready? <laughs> Raydox Field Detox Acai Berry Scent and Clay Bath Soak. This smells amazing. It's such a strong scent, but it's really fresh, if you know what I mean. And it also smells just like the Raydox Bath Salts. And they were doing two for two pounds. So I got two of those. A pack of toothbrushes just to replace the boys' ones. Some baby wipes for the dogs because they're always muddy and grubby. I got some spaghetti for bolognese and some pasta shells just because we have nothing in at all. Tie handle food bags for like leftovers. I've got two of the hearty food garlic baguettes to go with the risotto. And these are really cheap as well. They're like 39p for a garlic baguette. So I've got two of those. I told you it was a big one. I got some boil in the bag rice. We're gonna be having a chicken and potato curry but I might add some rice on the side to kind of bulk it out so I have leftovers. I just bought six cartons of orange juice. I'm actually trying to cut down on putting cartons in the boys' lunches. I mainly used to buy cartons for Oscar's lunch to encourage him to drink because he would often go from when he left the house in the morning to when he came home at night without drinking a thing and he got a few infections from it so he ended up having a lot of antibiotics and having to go to A&E. So I try and encourage him to drink by putting these in, but I have started to limit it and the boys now just take their reusable bottle of squash. And Oscar does most times, but I like to pop one in now and again just to ensure that he does get a drink, especially if he's got PE that day. I've got four tins of Prince's Tuna. This was on offer for £3.50 instead of £5. I got some Kenko Milicano. This was £2.49. I only ever buy this on offer. It is our favourite coffee, but it seems to be on offer enough that you can always get it, if you know what I mean. Every time we run out, it's on offer again. So that was good. I got two fillers, as we call them. So one chicken and bacon and one chicken and stuffing. This is like a treat night for Steve and I. It's one of our favourite things. If we don't have chicken and halloumi salad or like a chicken and goat's cheese salad, then we will have these on either tiger rolls or the salt and pepper baguette, but they don't do that for delivery. So I got a Chinese curry sauce concentrate. If you have seen my Chinese curry cook with me that's up on this channel, then this is the one I use. A lot of people say, have I tried the Mayflower curry sauce? And yes, I have. I just find it a little bit floury. I don't know why, I think it's the thickener that they use and the fact that they've made it sort of instant. But I find this one is much more authentic tasting 
to the Chinese is that I've had and that I've been in. So it's a really thick paste and you just like scoop some out and add it to hot water. It's amazing. If you like Chinese curry, I would definitely try it. You can get it on Amazon as well. It's the Goldfish brand. Yeah, Goldfish brand, Chinese curry sauce concentrate. And I think on Amazon, they actually do a hot one as well. This is just medium, but it really does taste like an authentic Chinese curry. And you can always just make it up and pour it over chips. So that's the one of those I get. And it's about £2.75, but it does a good few curries. Not a big fan of pot noodles. And I know lots of people say they're absolute junk, which I, I do agree. But I've got to say, have you tried the jerk chicken one? It is amazing. It, if you like spicy food and like jerk spices and that kind of thing, it is the nicest pot noodle I've ever tasted. So when I saw it for 55p, I thought, right, I'm going to get that for my lunch one day. And like I said, it's not exactly nutritious. They're just full of, well, basically just noodles that you pour hot water on. So, but I just thought I'd let you know if you are a pot noodle fan, then try the jerk chicken one. You don't have to add salt, pepper, chili sauce, which I normally add chili sauce to everything. It's so nice. So try the jerk chicken one. And then I picked up a sticky rib. I've not tried it, but um, I thought maybe Steve would like it. I don't know. I'll let you know what he thinks in my next food haul. If he, we buy it again, then you'll know he likes it. If we don't, then you'll know he probably didn't. Um, and they were 55p. I got two of these Bullseye New York Steakhouse barbecue sauce. I just thought they sounded really nice. Again, they were £3 down to £1.50. And sometimes I really like this, especially when we're making Subway, we just pour it on as like a base. And then you've got like a barbecue sub. So I've got two of those. I got four tins of peeled plum tomatoes. These are the vine ripened ones. They're really cheap, but they're really nice. And now we need to move over to the other side of the kitchen. So we are nearly there, I promise. This is kind of like breads and crisps and stuff. So I got three, lo three loaves of this both together bread. This is like the Hovis 50-50 and it's really nice, really soft. So I'll put two in the freezer and keep one out. I got a pack of tiger rolls for the sandwich fillers. I got some mini tortilla wraps and some large ones. They're just always handy to have in the cupboard. These are perfect for packed lunches. If your children won't eat a whole wrap, then I either cut them in half or I can smell toast then, but it's the bread. I was like, my toaster's on. Um, I, you can either cut the big ones in half, but sometimes it's nice just to have a whole one. And I often put these in Oscar's packed lunch. I got some bunny bites. They're 85p for six. Some bites were a pound. Um, discos were a pound. Lentil curls are again 85p. And the puffs were a pound. And like I said, we're completely empty, so I thought I'll stock up. Got some fizzy dummies and some sour skittles. We always have a movie night once a week at some point, usually on a Friday. And we have pizzas or something really simple or like rolls, hot dogs, subs, that kind of thing. And we just have a bowl of sweets. I put these in a big bowl and we just share those. I got some Miss Molly's, what are these? White chocolate strawberry flavour cereal bars. Again, these are so cheap. They're like less than a pound i think they're 69p for six and they're just handy to put in lunch boxes i got some Belvita breakfast cocoa biscuits with chocolate chips these were on offer at one pound 20 something they were half price i got some twix white chocolate fingers these are just the single ones i find that that's quite good if you want something sweet then Sometimes after school the boys will come in and they'll have like a sandwich or toast or fruit and then they want something sweet. So just one finger that isn't so bad. Salt and vinegar rice cakes because they're mine and Oscar's absolute favourite thing. And last but not least, oh, I've got to put this away yet. I've got eight chocolate chip brioche rolls which are really nice if you slice them open and toast them. They're really, really good. So that is everything I bought and I spent £116.00 which isn't too bad really. My budget is 120. A lot of weeks lately I've managed to cut that right down to around 60, 70 pound, but I have, did not have anything in at all. The cupboards were bare, so I'm not too upset with that because I know a lot of this stuff will last. So what I'll do now is I'll take you through my meal plan and I'll also leave it written out in the description box in case you want to have a look. Two things I just wanted to mention, I'll pop back on. First thing is my new fruit bowl. I don't know why I've shown you this in our food haul, but we went away to Forest Holidays for a couple of nights for our 15th wedding anniversary. 
and Steve's mum gave us some money and we've wanted one of these bowls for ages but we didn't want to buy one because we were like oh it's a little bit expensive and it was £40 and they're all individual at Forest Holidays so you get to choose exactly which one you want and it's like made out of the root of a tree that's the dogs fighting in the background and I'm just going to put it on the middle of the table and put fruit in it and not only do I think it looks really good at the moment with fresh fruit, probably once it all starts to go mouldy and horrible it will look, won't look so good. But the other thing is, my other fruit bowl was like um, a cage one, if you know what I mean. So every time the fruit started to go a little bit soft, it put pressure on it and all the lines kind of cut into the fruit. And I've been looking for one that doesn't do that for ages. So, guys! So I thought I'd just show you it. I absolutely love it and we've polished it all up and it's just really nice. It's just going to sit on my table and remind us of our 15th wedding anniversary. The other thing I wanted to just pop in now is these chilli cheese hot cross buns from Marks and Spencers. They are amazing. I've already mentioned it on Instagram stories but they do apple and cinnamon. I think they do a salted caramel and chocolate and they do these chili cheese ones and they are absolutely amazing so if you want to get down to marks and spencers they are two for two pound fifty and i just thought i'd pop that in here as well so our meal plan for this week is a chinese chicken and potato curry we're going to be having a bacon and pea risotto i'm going to be putting up a cook with me for that soon we're also going to be having jacket potatoes with tuna beans cheese salad i've got it all written down that's why i keep looking over i still need a menu board we're going to be making some chicken thigh salads with halloumi surprise surprise um i know i'm going to add some walnuts and honey because we absolutely love that and i've just realized i've got pears as well so i'm going to put some pears in there uh, good old-fashioned spaghetti bolognese that's one of our absolute favorite meals we're going to be having subways for tonight and watch a movie and then we're also going to be having loaded barbecue chicken wedges with an avocado red pepper and chili salsa so that is everything that we're going to be eating and i'll leave it written in the description box as well so i told you it was a long one well done if you've made it through to the end i feel a bit rambly today and um, the other thing i just wanted to pop on and say before i go is that i've had a question about why some of our videos have been marked private now or they've gone missing basically when we started this channel i wasn't sure whether it where it was going and it's progressed really well and i'm so proud of it but i really want to take it down more of a food and cooking route more lifestyle um the boys were a lot younger when we started the channel and bailey especially is becoming he's like a man now so what i've done is i've privated all of our family vlogs and we're going to go back through them as a family and if there's anything in there that he would maybe or any of us would maybe be embarrassed to have out there now then we're not going to re-release those ones obviously they're still uploaded for us but we just want to make sure that everybody's happy with what is on the internet and also he's coming to a time where he also he's coming to a time where Bailey especially will be applying to colleges and things and I think these days the first thing colleges and employers and that do is look at your social media so I just want to make sure that he's 100% happy and we all are with what we've put out there especially with social media how it is at the moment it's important to be happy with what you do put on the internet because it does get scrutinized and people do pick people apart and especially kids can be cruel and I know that you, well, a lot of you probably follow Kelly from You, Me and the Six Seas and she's now finally shut her channel for good which is such a shame but I do understand why she's done it I think after stopping the family vlogging and that was very much for the same reasons that I've privated a lot of my videos um, her kids are getting older they were a lot younger when she started and it's the same kind of reason job interviews and girlfriends and boyfriends and everything out there that the kids used to be okay with they might not be now if you know what i mean and i'm happy to continue in a lifestyle way with this channel we've left a lot of our florida vlogs up actually we've left all of our florida vlogs up we've left christmas and new year and the ones that we've watched and are completely happy with are still on the channel and then the ones we haven't got around to looking at yet will stay private until we're happy with them our channel's not going anywhere so we will still be doing family vlogs because we do enjoy doing them we'll still vlog holidays and things but it's going to be more on our terms rather than forcing ourselves to vlog because we thought that was what we wanted to do so i've got cook with me's coming up meals of the week shopping hauls i'm still going to be doing my sort of renovation product projects i've got so many cabinets and chest of drawers and stairs and mirrors and things that i want to paint and that and a lot of you have said that you'd like to see that when i do get round to it so anyway take a breath 
I do hope you've enjoyed this video and I do appreciate every single one of your support and I will see you guys very very soon in our next video. This is what we want.